there was a closing ceremony of the 2023 academic year and a graduation ceremony for the children graduating from Nasser preparing to enter the primary level at Queo Primary School playing ground from Bill Paris in Metro Sub County, Moyo District. The event was attended by parents, caregivers, and administration of Queo Community Nursery School, including the officials from Seford, a civil society organization in the West Nile region. It was marked by excitement, including whole march and marching. Everest Koma, the head teacher of Queo Primary School, expressed gratitude to the uh, today we have gathered here for a very important function that is uh, seeing our children at nursery out, leaving the nursery level and going to primary cycle, to begin primary cycle the next year. Uh, in this event we have so many other partners who are working together with us. I want to take this opportunity to welcome them, that is especially the Seford. They have done a lot to see to it that the school progressed up to this level. The school started uh, way back 2016 with four teachers and about 84 learners. But as of now, due to many other challenges that I may not be able to tell them here, our number of uh, pupils really dropped a bit. And uh, we have uh, so far three teachers. So we call upon our parents to put more effort to send their children to this primary, I mean this nursery school, so that when we set their base in the near future, in a seven years cycle, we shall realize good performance at the primary sector. Uh, so we begin from 2016, we have uh, parents who came together uh, across the school management committee PTA and the entire community to ask them to give a room within Queer Primary School and uh, I'm really very grateful the management by then accepted their offer and then up to now they are in within Queer Primary School. Being a Catholic funded school the parish priest and his team in that office also accepted them to be in our primary school here. So Koya Primary School has given birth to yet another new community primary, I mean community nursery school, which will reinforce the performance of this school. Benjamin Njiku, Area Program Coordinator, Seford, has cited that education is one of the thematic areas of the organization for the last 25 years. As effort, we education is one of our thematic areas, and we have been into this area for the last 25 years. We have traveled the primary schools, but for the last uh, almost uh, to say seven, five years, we have been into uh, early childhood development because we realize that uh, early childhood development has been left out. The government has come with very good policies. You go to the local government, you find the policies aligned. But uh, the government of Uganda for now has not uh, invested so much into early childhood education. Uh, we thought that it is wise that uh, we start with the early childhood because that's where the nursery, that's where we, we sow the seed for this country. And particularly for our region, West Nile, we realize that our performance have become so poor. And one of the reasons is because most of our children who join these primary schools join late. They join at the age of seven, eight. And before they finish primary, they're already big boys and girls. And end of the day, they, they go for the quick, where they can get the money or they disappear in marriages. And because of this, we say, let us start we initiate the education early for these children so they can start learning, so they can grow up and uh, finish education when they are still young. And uh, also in, instill into the parents that uh, education is the responsibility of everyone. We should not wait until they grow up when a child can decide to go to school. No, 
but mm -hmm. as a parent you have a role, a role to play mm -hmm. you have a right to take this child mm -hmm. yourself to school mm -hmm. and because of this that's where self for has come in and through the support of our development partners particularly the kids share stromy foundation we got some small resources that uh, that we have tried to invest in this location particularly through construction of a school block and so that the, the, the children can learn in a very good environment margaret ababiku the head caregiver for your community nursery school highlighted some of the challenges facing the center previously and urged the parents to continue supporting the center for purposes of sustainability. We have a problem of uh, classrooms. We are studying outside under the tree, but now Saturday has supported us with classrooms, but we are having the challenge of classrooms. Another challenge is latrine. We don't have enough latrine for teachers and caregivers. Play materials. Play materials. We are lacking play materials like maybe go around this other play material once. Maybe from outside, not the local ones, we have a problem. Another challenge we are here to repeat us about the, the payment. Our salary is very small. So my appeal to, if I can say to parents, to look forward how they can at least increase our salary. And my appeal to parents is also they should work hard last year maybe to put this pro problem of slackering forward. Maybe they can do it in voluntary work because in our school we don't have money and they are doing voluntary work. Father Sunday Ochima, the Paris priest, met to Catholic Paris, said the nursery school play the most important element in human growth and development, focusing on the moral values and the mental capability, where spiritual life matters a lot in the life of the children. Early childhood yeah. development in institutions like uh, Cuello Nursery uh, Community Nursery School is intended to upbring these children as young as is really for the holistic development of our children whether morally when we talk holistically we want these children to grow totally as proper human beings not a half and this entails the moral life it entails the spiritual life it entails uh, uh, the physical of these children they should grow physically not right intellectually of course as an academic institution they should grow academically to widen their scope of reasoning and i always tell people that uh, schools which are the heart of every society is not really meant to uh, to train people for salary. No, uh, people are trained to offer service and to solve the immediate problems. So the the mind opening of our children is not that they should go to to to, to put their mind in looking for money or whatever, but. It, how do I solve the immediate problem of my society? Once we have that in our heads, then the money aspects will come later.